How's it going, guys? It's Leo Bias here, multimedia editor for the Sagebrush, and um, next to uh, Chris Pauline, the sports editor. That's right. Tonight, Nevada pulled out a phenomenal victory. It was a true barn burner. Deontay Burton hit the game-winning shot. Talk about that game-winning shot, Chris. I mean, from my angle, um, you know, Michael Perez and Cole have set a great uh, screen for Deontay. Um, I've actually, from my angle on uh, the baseline, I was pretty amazed about how um, how open he was on the shot, and you know he made it, and uh, you know that's kind of become the norm for Deontay. But when you kind of take a closer look at it, you know they were double teaming him on that, and that was just a great play. And Coach Carter said in the post game interview that um, the design play was for Deontay to drive, but um, I guess Tay put his own spin on it, and obviously you know Coach Carter would not be displeased with the results. Talk about the overall defense tonight from from the Wolfpack. Well, you know Nevada after you know losing to Pacific at home, but coming with a couple of road victories. Um, they did allow uh, 81 points, and they did um, you know, not lead the majority of the game. They only led in the second half, and that was pretty late. Um, that just kind of comes with experience. Their bigs are coming along, and Coach Carter mentioned in the post-game press conference that, that even though their big men aren't really contributing the way that he wants them, wants them to, it's just a, it's a progression. And... I feel like it's, it says a lot that they would pull a game out like this, whereas they had a lot of experienced guys last year who would, they would win a game like this, but he would be concerned. So I think the big men and you know the defense are coming along just fine, even at a game at home against Chattanooga. Talk about Deontay Burton's overall performance tonight. Well, Deontay, I mean, had a great night, 28 points, um, you know, 9 of 14 shooting. I mean, you're not going to get a whole lot of complaints with that. And I think it just goes to show that, you know, he's really um, embracing that role as a leader. I mean, senior leader coming back. I mean, he could have had a chance to go NBA junior year. And, you know, it showed a lot tonight. And sophomore year, too. Yes, yes, sir. And also the thing with Burton was, I mean, there was a, there was a time in the first half when he had a breakaway one-handed jam. And, you know, he energized the crowd. I mean, he has that ability with the fans. And, you know, him winning at the end, I mean, people are going to be wearing Deontay Burton jerseys all around not only the University of Nevada campus, but also uh, Reno as well. And I think his, uh, his aura is going to rub off on some of the other player, players, DJ Fenner and uh, Marquise Coleman as well. What do you think his, his future holds um, as far as NBA potential? Uh, well, you know, Burton, it's, it's a very short season. Um, if you play a team like Chattanooga, you know, they played a great game. Coach Carter even said at the post-game press conference that, the the mo the most we're gonna win this game you know Nevada should have lost this game but Burton you know kind of you know saved victory from the jaws of defeat and that's just kind of the player he is but I think the real test is gonna be coming in Mountain West play and you know he's not gonna be able to do it alone Ollie Fall has to come around uh, Ronnie Stevens who got a lot of crucial playing time minutes in the in the second half the big guys are gonna have to come along Marquise Coleman is coming along. And Burton, you know, can't do it all by himself. But right now, I mean, you're not going to get a whole lot of complainers with 28 points and hitting the game winner. Well, Sunday at 3, the Wolfpack will try to rebound and have a better game against Moorhead State. That's all for tonight. For all your latest Wolfpack news, I'm Leo Bias. And I'm Chris Boleyn. And thank you for joining us.